Okay, so this is the assignment. Um, you're going to look on Unsplash. You've hopefully seen that before, and you're going to find a picture. It could be a person, a place, um, whatever it is that you, speaks to you, and you want to get a really high resolution of that picture. And using the cropping tool, and this is the only tool you have to use, although if you have extra time, you're welcome to explore uh, and learn for yourself how some of these other tools work. But you know, if you get lost, you can always do go to Edit, and undo to back up a step. So whenever that happens, just remember you always have edit undo or command Z to back up and, and take catch a breath. Sometimes escape too will get you out of it. So for example, when you have a crop window and you don't want it, you hit escape and the crop window disappears. Um, with that said, um, I have this image here and this was the original image. I was doing a crop to make sure I could understand how the file worked because it's gonna be very important that you manage your files to be able to turn this in. So this is the original image. This is my first crop that I created. And so what I have to do to make this work is I have to open up the original image again. I'm not saving to it. I'm saving as and creating a new image. So I'll take you through that step. Open the original image that you selected from Unsplash and open it up in Photoshop. You'll see the crop window automatically, especially if you stay on this tool. Now for this assignment, you don't have to stay within the aspect ratio. You can swap and do a portrait crop. And I think that's what I'm gonna do for my second one. Uh, because right now when I see that, I really want the hand to be kind of opposite of the face. And that's my second crop. So I have to click done, because then it finishes that crop. And you'll notice it still says person, that's the original file. And um, what I wanna do with that is I wanna go save as. And since I already have a crop one, I'm going to write crop two, and that's going to be on my desktop. Check the file type, should be JPEG, highest quality, and hit OK. And what I'm, what I'm getting is a series of different choices that I'm making as uh, for cropping. They all should be 2 by 3 or 4 by 6 ratio. Um, and like I said, one image can be cropped multiple different ways. Um, but if you look at that, and I know they're kind of small, you can see this is the original image. And I think the important part, one of the important parts about photography here is you're cropping when you make a selection of what's in the frame. When you're cropping in post-production, you're altering, sometimes slightly, sometimes in a bigger way, um, what the emphasis is and what the composition is of that photo. So for example, the original crop um, had the shoulder and the head and the hands. This one, um, when I did this one, and I'm just waiting for that preview to pop up, um, it really put a lot more emphasis on the face took away all the other elements, and then it had it left a little bit of negative space here. So it just changes the feel and the mood, and it's much more intimate. Um, you're really seeing more closely. When I saw this photo, it really spoke to me because of the seriousness and the countenance of the subject. Um, and this one right here, even though it's very similar, um, since I went vertical, it changed a lot of aspects of how that thing was. It's still, it's still a 4 by 6 or 2 by 3 ratio crop. Um, but now I've got a much tighter relationship between the hands, and it's mostly, uh, it's leaving the, the wardrobe out of it as much as possible. Um, and again, there's a little bit of negative space. I'm cutting off some of the hair, and it changes that. So my goal for this is to come up with three other crops uh, and then save them as crop one, crop two, crop three, crop four, crop five. And then each time I start over, open up again with the original photo so I can start from scratch and just use Adobe uh, Photoshop to create five different crops that have five different interpretations of the image that you chose. Hopefully that works. Um, when you're done, you'll have all files and all those files can be turned into Canvas um, and I'll take a look at your choices. Just be sure to name them. The original photo, whatever you call it, and then crop one, crop two, crop three, crop four, crop five. That's a total of six files to be turned in. Thank you.